the inspiration is, yeah, this is like a cloud. But uh, of course, uh, from the beginning, I didn't think about I like to make a cloud. But uh, I was impressed by the beautiful surroundings of this Kenjiton garden, beautiful green. So try to create something melting into the green at the beginning, at the beginning. And uh, of course, the structure should be artificial. So I try to create something between uh, architecture and the nature. And that, that kind of a concept has been my uh, interest, big interest in my career. So it is uh, really natural to push that kind of concept to push more forward for the future. I mean, I think this year's design has been, uh, it's been kind of quite stunning and pleasurable to work on. Um, and so working with Sue's team, although there's been the 4,000 miles between us, which has been good because it's allowed us to work 24-7. They work while we sleep and we work while they sleep. Uh, the design process has been absolutely unbelievable because uh, you know we, we ended up with a design concept in January and we had to translate that into an opening day today, um, balancing materials, uh, design intent, making sure that so could work with um, the fabricators and actually also then work with the Westminster so that we could actually get all of the approvals we needed so we could use the, the pavilion. Everything started from last November. They talked to, talked to us to, about the commission and then I came here to see the site and to talk briefly about the, the conditions. And then for one or well, one and a half month we are in, my, in our office, we are thinking about the conceptual uh, ideas and the thinking, thinking. And then the Serpentine uh, people could create, created the teams, ACOM engineering and the stage one the contractors and uh, every other guys. So we just start to discuss through Skype almost every night about the technical things, the regulation things and the uh, construction things, everything. And gradually the ideas is the original ideas was a bit conceptual and abstract, but the gradually the idea is getting more rea reality. I think the biggest challenge was the time frame and um, working on this pavilion. At one stage we had something like over 20,000 nodes and 40,000 elements and 48 kilometers of still. Um, you know, and reality was there was not enough hours in the day. So we had to work with So to say, well, how do we actually rationalize uh, the process of design and fabrication and actually start using individual elements? So I think really the intensity was in that February month where we were working literally every day on the phone and So's team's ability, sort of the ability of So's team to actually change the design and work with everybody to make that happen, which has been, and it's been a pleasure. Of course, this series of the Pavilion of Serpentine Gallery is a great, great, great history <laughs> for, for me, for younger generation, I think. And uh, yeah, we can say it's a kind of a dream of the younger architects to be, to be selected as an architect. So I was so excited about that, but at the same time, it's a kind of a big pressure. And, uh, but uh, yeah, of course, uh, I, I started to, to enjoy the whole situation and the whole challenge. And for me, the nice experience to do the project in abroad, in a, in a different situation than Japan. And finally, it's a public, public project. So we could expect many different kinds of people can see and can experience and can behave in, in here. So that's quite exciting point. My favorite space is yeah, I can say everywhere <laughs> because it has the diversities of the space. This area is really stepping areas and the cantilevers or low ceiling areas and that kind of a corner, cozy corner area. So I hope many people could, could find their own favorite place. It's, it's open and uh, could find a their own nice way to use it, use or behave on, on it. You know, the, the, I think the challenge that uh, Hans and Julia always have is they look for this, this architect that hasn't built in the UK. And I think it throws up the, the not, not, not so obvious person all the time. And I think that's, 
that's part of the challenge and every response people often ask me well what's the best pavilion and you say it's an impossible thing to answer because that is the beauty of architecture and design it's someone's response at that instant in time to the challenge that's set in front of them